Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Black Sail Season 4, Episode 4. Let's quickly go over what happened last episode because I kind of want to binge a couple of episodes today. I'm going to try to get at least three episodes done today. I don't know how that's going to go, but hopefully I can do it. So last episode was Blackbeard's death. That was probably the most brutal death that I've seen or one of. I don't know, that was like pretty up there with one of the most brutal deaths that I've seen like on television. It was just how, how long and stretched out it was. It was just, they kept on dragging him under the ship and I was like, when is this gonna end? And it was actually a practice that was done, you know, with pirates and I guess Vikings alike. That wasn't a huge spoiler also that it happened in Vikings. It happened to Rolo, so I guess it's like across other cultures you could see this practice having been done. So Blackbeard's dead, I guess it was kind of just really traumatizing to see such a big character like that, such a strong character just go out like that and see him like weakened and I don't know, overthrown, overpowered. And I guess it just goes to show that Woods Rogers is not to be fucked with. So I, I predicted that he was going to snap one of these episodes and he ended up snapping. I guess I just want to see this episode how Anne and Jack pick up the pieces after Blackbeard's death. I don't know if anything's gonna happen to them because Woods Rogers, he told a story last episode about how he did kind of the same thing that he did with Blackbeard's men and Blackbeard's ship, but he wiped out like 70 people, he was saying. So I don't know like what's gonna happen to Jack and Anne. I really hope that they don't die and they're not, they don't go out the same way Blackbeard did, but that would be brutal. I don't know if I could handle seeing Jack and Anne go out that way. I wanted to keep my thoughts short and sweet because I want to get into this episode. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into episode four. A reminder of how our fates are bound together here. And then that kin of yours aided in a revolt. Have you got something to say, Julius? Get him back in the barracks. That's just fallen. This is crazy. Holy shit. It is our duty now to secure ourselves here, conserve resources, and hold out until the governor returns with whatever aid he was able to muster to combine with our force. Then we will launch a credible assault to drive out Captain Flint and his men. It's bad out there. Worse than I anticipated. All life begins in violence and wailing. It will pass. A lot of things begin with violence and wailing. She's taken charge of them all already. It's an offer of an exchange. Twenty men following orders would make a big difference out there. I agree. Unfortunately, I don't think we have Max. Yeah, where Max? is Max? Does anyone know where she is? Right, grab some men. Set about finding her. She's not in the fort. She couldn't have gone very far. Mr. Milton, is he here to collect? No, I, is he gonna torture them? I hope that he doesn't torture them. I can't deal with that. I can't deal with Jack or Anne being tortured or seeing them in that state. I just can't. I think we can all agree it helps none of us to have those idiots on to the teeth. Yeah. <laughs> We've well, had our hands full out there. Trying to manage the transition. Was the aftermath not what we feared? Good. Call him out. Call his ass out. It will be critical that she proceed to the estate at once and attempt to repair that relationship to whatever extent is possible. Of course, Billy would never violate the trust I place in him as a brother. I will see to it. I should fucking hope so. <gasps> Is everyone feeling better? No one likes Billy. Billy's stupid. I ask, as I'm wondering, when would be a good time for us to talk about Max? Oh shit, does he what know about where, He knows where Max is. You don't think there's anything going on in Nassau right now that I don't know about, do you? You're going to help us find her. He f f find probably... Her. He probably has her. I have her. Mm. Fuck's sake. As much as I hate Billy, I have to respect him. Like, he's I smart. Responsible. I mean, some Responsible of his moves are not smart, but like, he knows what is generally going on around him. Which of your men is going to be the first? Fuck. Fuck you. 
against the carver. Are they doing the same thing to him as they did to Blackbeard? Or is this guy just gonna like beat the shit out of them? Jack and Anne watch all their crew members die until they're the only two left? That's brutal. You gotta trust me. He asks you for a name. You don't say shit. And you let him take me. No, 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 no. That's like not, not a good idea. Another name, Captain. Anne's a badass, but. I don't Captain. know if she could take on this guy. Will you be choosing all I? Her. If this is how Anne dies, I'm gonna be pissed. I mean, who knows how long they've been down there? They could have been depleted from like food and water. So she's probably not in her like normal badass state. Grab the glass. Grab the glass. No, 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 no. She's got some strong ass teeth. And get up. No, 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 please. we were to the victory he gave his life to achieve he wouldn't want me to assume his father was just as dark as you say but assume he found a way to secret Thomas away from London he didn't would you trade this war to make it so it is some kind of hell to be forced to choose one irreplaceable thing over another the closer we get to the end of this journey, the more the contradictions will accumulate. I suppose the good news is that's how we'll know we're finally getting somewhere interesting. I'm getting kind of nervous with Flint and Silver. Like, I know that they're friends now, and I know that they genuinely care about each other, and they're looking out after each other, and they... I don't know, they're working together, but... There's some, I feel like there's some truth to what Billy was saying before. Sails have been spotted on the horizon. Sails? Whose sails? 
It's Rogers. If it were a teach returning, wouldn't he be flying his banner as he approached? If it is his ship, then in all likelihood the governor's ship was captured. Oh. She doubts his... Perhaps he would like to wait below. Okay, but what happened to Jack and Anne, though? I need to know what happened to Anne specifically. We'll have the numbers. The first barrage, maybe. But as soon as those soldiers hit the beach, nine in ten of ours will flee. What choice do we have? Well, that's a very good question. It's been a long time since these Should two... Should this last come to pass? At best, the outcome is not certain. I am prepared to surrender the governor's remaining forces to you. The chest with the remains of the Urca treasure. I am told it is hidden. Buried in a secret place known only to Captain Rackham and the two of you. And Maddie. I get the cash and guaranteed safe passage off the island for everyone in this fort. We have partners who would almost certainly rather fight this out than lose their treasury. Your partners are your problem. What do you want to do? That's everything that they fought for. That's everything that they've been wanting since the beginning. Oh. But then again, they How want... How would you see it done? They want One of you off. surrenders himself and remains here to ensure these terms are on No, 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 no. I have had enough of this. Tell me he's going to do it. And I am ready for it to end. He's going to do it. Fuck. This is a dangerous game. He's putting all of his trust in Silver right now, even though Silver disagrees. Fuck, man. I'm watching the next episode right now. I'm sorry, I can't wait. That episode was pretty good. I feel like that episode was filler for what's going to go down in the next episode. And every episode after episode five is just going to be craziness. Craziness is going to ensue because if anything, if I know anything about this season so far is that every episode has been pretty intense and every, like, every word of dialogue is pretty crucial to what, like, understanding what is going to go down. Uh, I would say the MVP this episode was definitely Anne. She, I hope she's not dead. She went out pretty badassly if she is dead, but I don't think that she's dead. I hope that she's not dead. They cut away, so I have no idea. I know the rules. Do not assume that somebody's dead unless that you see them die. And she was still breathing when we first, when we last saw her, I mean. So I thought that that was a pretty good plan. She basically offered to potentially sacrifice herself in order to save the rest of the men and kind of start this like revolt, this uproar. But my question is, because at the end of the episode, we see Roger's ship, the ship that Anne and Jack are on. We see it sailing into Nassau. So are they still just below deck? Does Rogers not know what is going on below deck? Is that like what's going on? Did he just not check up on them yet? Maybe they overthrow or maybe they overthrew everybody down there. You know, Jack and Anne and all the other people that kind of had this uprising happen. Maybe they took over and they're just like hiding down there and being silent and planning to do something with Rogers and all of his other men above, but they have to understand that everybody above has guns. It's just gonna be a shit show because if they attack Roger's ship as it comes into the, the bay or whatever you wanna call it, that's gonna be a shit show. You got Jack and Anne and you got good fighting men on that ship. So I don't know. I really don't know what's gonna go down next episode. There were some really good scenes of dialogue this episode with Silver and Flint specifically. They, every single conversation that they have, honestly, I'm like, I feel like I didn't do a lot of talking this episode because I was so engulfed in the dialogue that was going on. Especially, they really honed in on the idea, they keep honing in on the idea of Silver being, you know, in the crosshairs of, of Flint and whatever's going on with Flint. They also brought up Thomas this episode. I don't know what significance that would have. You know, he, he, they were just kind of talking about how, what would you do if Thomas were here? I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, they never showed Thomas dying. That, that would be a long shot, though. That would be a long shot, I think, if Thomas were still alive and they kind of brought him back for that emotional appeal to Flint. But I don't think Black Sails is that kind of show. I think that Black Sails, like, the whole emotional impact of why Flint became Flint was because Thomas died. So I think bringing him back, even if he were alive, which is a long shot, that's like 1% chance that could happen, if they brought him back, I don't know, it would kind of degrade, not degrade, I don't know if degrade is the right word, but like Flint became Flint because of what happened to Thomas. Like, you know, he became this badass 
a dark character because of the trauma that he dealt with with Thomas. So I don't know. It would be a very emotional thing that if that happened and, and cool, but at the end of the day, it would kind of like mean that, you know, everything that Flint did for Thomas kind of meant nothing because he didn't really die for the cause. In regards to everything else, Flint is now in Eleanor's hands. He's kind of being used as collateral while Silver goes and gets the rest of the Urka gold, which is something that has, I mean, the freaking Urka gold, man. That's been the problem since day one. Episode one was this freaking Urka gold, which is something that I love about the show because they introduce so many new plot lines and so many storylines, but also it just ties back to this one central thing that happened that just spiraled and just branched out into totally different characters having different problems and it's just, it's crazy good. And I can't wait for episode five. I'm going to charge up my camera and watch episode five right now. So yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Check out my other reactions if you have not already and I will see you guys for episode five. All right, bye guys.